Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight Japan Tournament in Yokohama Budokan. I'm Russell Goodall. I'm Nicholas Pettis. This is the K1 Featherweight uh, match, 57.5 kgs versus, uh, with Toma versus Yusho Kamemoto with the blue gloves. Yeah. So Toma actually went overseas and stayed and trained in Mike's gym in Holland for six months. He did after junior high school. And uh, let's see what <gasps> maybe what he learned in those six months from Mike. And I'm his gym. very excited to watch him fight. Mm. Here we are. Round one, nice kick to from Toma in the rear guns. His also fight record only shows one defeat, which was in a title match. So, I mean, he's really got good game. Mm. Total seven Ooh. fights so far from Toma. There. Some nice action there in this featherweight match. It looks like he hits really hard actually. Toma does? Yes. yes. Like even for a, a, a featherweight. Yeah. And a few nice kicks from Kamimoto as well there. Definitely speedy nose sort of waiting around right here from the round one. Ooh, cool, okay. Hey, another one. There you go. Nice. This is where that Dutch kickboxing style Aha. comes in. <laughs> okay. Good. Great pressure. Nice one. Should have finished the kick. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But they're both south ball. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, yeah. So when the, they do sort of click when they match, it's not so south mm -hmm. ball. Actually, he switches. Interesting. <laughs> Hamilton actually trains in Crest, which is the same gym as Hakim. Yes. Lots of famous uh, gym out in the streets of uh, Tokyo. And... Mm -hmm. It's been fast paced. You see some action like this. <laughs> okay, okay, don't hit him in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, that was that interesting. Yeah. Cheeky. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that was a good shot. That straight went right down the middle. First round and over, and it was a very quick paced uh, game. Yeah, that was a really yeah. quick, quick first round. Didn't feel like three minutes. And not looking phased or tired, obviously. First round, looking at each other. But I think Toma hits harder than Kami uh, does. Like, just because his stance is more included on the, on the actual map. I don't know if you learned anything from Mike and Mike's German at Holland. Yeah, well, if he's been training in Holland for a while, then he, know, he must have done like the basic stuff that they do over there. Which is like, what do you think is fundamentally different than what they, how they train people in Japan? Um, Holland. When you do classes in Holland, the Dutch kickboxing, they, they pair you up and they do a lot of pair work. Mm. Uh, not just holding pads or, or kicking the bag or something, okay. but they do pair work in combinations. Mm. Which is uh, fantastic. <laughs> Round two here with an exciting fast, fast paced match between Toma and uh, Kamimoto. Kamimoto sorry. This could kick. Yeah. Oh, and. 
slip your pulling on back up on his feet. Wow, almost like a blink and I miss it. What's happening there? He switches real smooth though. Between South Pole and Orthodox. Mm. Oh, yeah. Does that switching come naturally or you have to kind of work on it and it move? Well, most people can't. Yeah, that can't. You know, yeah. Because it's, there's some great controlling punches here. Nice. Man, it was just beautiful. You put it right up against the ropes and held him there. And the thing is, when you switch, everything changes. Mm -hmm. The distance and everything changes. If you're not comfortable doing both ways, then you can't switch. That's why Kamimoto is definitely not trying to switch. Mm. And I think that's kind of cool that Toma is able to do that comfortably. Mm, nice. <laughs> They've got about a minute left in round two here for the weight match. Whoa. Nice. That was well, definitely a down. You, what? He got dropped on that one. For sure. Mm. That's all right. Thomas got lots of confidence in him. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he kind of knows that what's what's possible, what's new. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just keep going, just keep going. Man, he's tough, Kamimoto. I think if he punches, ooh, and a few more punches for that. And knee to the body. Ouch, okay. <laughs> oh, man, Tommy was really holding on for his life there. Great round by Toma. So, uh, look, looking cool too, it's like, okay, I'm just doing the job, but, but uh, he is. I to the full thought that he took a down there. Toma did. Yeah, I mean, no, he, he against, 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 yeah, against yeah. Kamimoto, yeah. I think maybe the judge was in a bad position, he didn't notice it. No, <laughs> to, but it does to, happen. To, the, he, and he could, the judge couldn't see it, right? Yeah. yeah. He was kind of behind them. You might see some of that replay on this one, but uh, no, I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. That one. That one. Around the this one. Back see? To the, to the chin there. Yeah. Mm. And, and uh, yeah, the referee was kind of right behind him. We'll see. It's okay. Thomas got way better control. Yeah. Round, we'll see what he does in round three of this uh, K1 featherweight. <laughs> oh, these guys want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I like this fight. Mm. It's like really entertaining. They're, they're switching up uh, like so much actually. Focused. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that almost looked nice like an elbow. Oh. 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 Oh.
After Thomas uh, beating, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you think about it, he recovered from from what he took in the last one. With that, what looked like that, that down? Yeah. 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 You gotta give that to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a exciting fight. Oh. No. no, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's the way to control the guy. Ooh, ooh, that, I think that is effective. But you're right, Kamimoto keeps coming back, you know, for more. <laughs> He like, just takes it. Yeah. Like, as if, as if, oh, oh. As if Thomas punches more than that. I like, I like that. Yeah. Huh. Interesting fight. Yeah. Right to the end. Right you know, he's to, not, to the He's so muscular. Uh, Kamimoto, you just tell he's in great shape. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these guys that are a little bit more like loose in their bodies, yes, they, they absorb the punches uh, other people do, so they can take more punishment. Mm. Yeah, I mean, obviously not a lot of body fat on them. Like they're so, you know, sort of trim. Yeah, but there's Let's something see. about the way you can move which is really yeah. relaxed. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely um, Thomas. Definitely. Yeah, definitely win there for Toma. And uh, I know Kamimoto looked kind of, uh, you know, he, he, I think he, he thought he could win, but uh, there's the judge's decision. Nice. Uh, Mm. Post fight laughing and then uh, yeah, communication no, they, between they, the fighters. They had yeah. a great fight. Yeah. I think that I think they enjoyed it, you know, as, as much as you can enjoy the fight. Punching oh, up the other is, guys. Yeah. This would have been a fun fight to be in actually. Because no one's really getting hurt, they're not getting injured. Right. But you still want like really fighting for it. Yeah. And the fact that they are smiling to each other after the fight, you know, and, and they really seem to have enjoyed it. Right. I also like to see him like you know, kids, because that's this was uh, the featherweight, fifty seven point five more potential there. So thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix twenty twenty one K1 bantamweight uh, Japan tournament, and the winner for that featherweight was Toma. This was Russell Goodall and Nicholas Pettis.